So I was looking forward to this die a lot, since as you may already know, my previous main speakers were actually the older Wavler Diamond 10.2s. And most of the reviews on the newest Diamond series focus on the smaller 12.1, so I am more than happy to share my thoughts about this much more serious full-sized performer, the Wavler Diamond 12.2. So they come in this simple though aesthetically designed packaging and inside everything is well organized though a little basic and boring. Maybe don't expect some fancy presentation as in for example the Castle Knight 2s. But more importantly let's move to the speakers themselves. In my humble opinion we are dealing here with the highest level of industrial design. And we can argue about looks on and on, but objectively speaking the speakers look elegant, minimalistic and most importantly exemplary coherent from the front to throughout the back. In comparison with the older models this is just on a completely different dimension. And the build quality just sets a new standard in the class. The fit and finish is just remarkable. The only thing that reveals it is a bit more budget oriented speaker is the choice of vinyl instead of real wood. That said it's still one of the best wraps so I don't have any complaints whatsoever. And I guess they didn't lie in the advertisements, cabinet dumping seemed to be exceptional. Moving to the most important, the sun signature is warm, but don't let that fool you, because there is some serious forward energy coming from the elevated higher frequencies and admittedly interestingly restrained bass. The sound may be slightly condensed, similar to the Q-Acoustics 3030i I've lastly tested, however with more openness, much more scale and air between the instruments. And if you look at the measurements I've done later, the curve looks slightly similar to that of the 3030i's. But since those are just measurements in my room, you have to have some form of reference in order to look more objectively at those dips and peaks. So now what you see is the comparison with my main speakers, Quadral Platinum Plus 2, marked as a blue line on the graph. First of all, I can see a noticeable dip around the 1 to 2 and a 3 kHz frequency range, which stands for some lag in the midrange area. This probably explains their warm sound signature. Second, what is more concerning to me is that additional energy in the higher frequencies, visible in form of elevated 2.5 to 5 kHz range. I don't have anything against some fine warmth in the midrange because I noticed it often can bring out and emphasize vocals a bit, which is to some extent true for this speaker also. That being said, with the extra sparkle in the higher frequencies, I think you need to be careful, because you can easily make the speaker sound fatiguing and busy. And whereas at times I could hear added definition to some of the sound effects, and overall there was a decent amount of details coming from the Diamond 12.2's Twitter, it often sounded too harsh for my tastes, and in combination with that midrange dip, the coming sound sometimes felt a bit too messy, and I would say, too artificial in a kind of digital manner. Also, despite the good scale and sound stage, I sometimes felt the sound was a little too flat in the area of mids and highs. And I know we are talking about the speaker that costs less than 500 bucks, but still I think for example even a bit cheaper ELAC WB6.2s were able to provide with more refined highs. In my opinion they should have done it more subtly, because honestly this is probably the only thing, but major one, I can criticize this speaker for. In terms of bass, knowing my old Wavdel Diamond 10.2s I've preferred for the huge amount of it. But I guess Warfdale decided to change its approach over it. And with the 12.2s this is a quite interesting subject, because sometimes I felt there was plenty of bass and at other times a bit of the opposite. But honestly it was fun to me, since I haven't experienced such thing with any other speaker before. And finally I concluded that mysterious lower frequency range in here is actually full and complete. I just think it's not boosted in any way shape or form, which in some sense also gives the sound more mature and audiophile like feel. This is unmatched by the rivals with heavy coloration, such as Q-Acoustics 3030i or the KevQ350, which in comparison sound much less accurate. 
Maybe that is partly because of that great cabinet construction and insulation inside of the new Diamond 12 series. What also deserves a huge price is the soundstage, probably one of the best, if not the best in the whole class. Despite that reserved amount of bass, there is some serious depth here and the scale of the sound is really large. I could also feel that what I like to call 3D like imaging that was greatly lacking in the Q acoustics I recall. So in the end, judging those wardles has been one of the most difficult tasks to this day for me. I really like those speakers for their fantastic appearance and build quality, class leading sound stage and one of the most interesting sounding bass. But that being said, the sound felt often too chaotic and flat despite that great sound stage. I'm thinking that slight harshness in the treble is mostly to blame here. Taking that disadvantage into the account, I finally decided to give them 4 stars instead of 4.5 I initially wanted. But please take it with a grain of salt, like I said, this was really difficult because at the same time I believe the speaker still has some strong advantages over the competition. Be sure to let me know what do you think about the Diamond 12.2 in the comments down below. If you like my content, subscribe so I can make more videos like this in the future. See you in the next one. Peace.